Hello there my friends, welcome to my Witcher 3 New Game Plus brand new playthrough. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, okay, one of the reasons I'm actually playing this is because we hit 500 subs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so happy, man. I know, listen, listen, I know 500 subs is such a small drop in the ocean. I know that. But to me, guys, it feels epic. <laughs> I'm really grateful to all of all of you who've supported me. You know, watched my playthroughs, commented, liked the videos, etc. Um, okay, when I first started this channel a couple of years ago, I wasn't really taking it seriously. I mean, you know, it was just a hobby. But, um, I mean, what I do basically, I'm a personal trainer. So I'm into all that fitness nonsense, you know, the usual. But um, when I chill out and, you know, have a bit of, you know, time off or whatever, I love playing video games, right? Whenever I've got time to do so. So I started this channel just, you know, as a laugh, really, just to enjoy myself and, you know, post a video and see what happens. I had a really terrible microphone. It was like 40 pounds. <laughs> Don't know what that works out to in dollars or whatever, but it was a terrible microphone. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was using PlayStation Remote Play. Uh, guys, I, I have to say, man, the quality wasn't very good. However, you guys have shown me a lot of love and I really appreciate it. So um, I wasn't expecting more than say, I don't know, 50 to 100 subs. But beyond that, I couldn't really you know fathom getting any any more subs than that uh played many games apart from the witcher 3 now anyway guys the reason i do want to just jump straight into it so it's the last thing i'll really say apart from thank you to everybody the reason i'm coming back to the witcher 3 to be honest guys this was the game or the playthrough not only is it one of the greatest games of all time one of my personal favorites but this was the playthrough that actually got my channel out there if that makes sense it, it really pushed my channel out there so um all i can say guys you you are all awesome man you've really helped me out you know thanks very much for your support i really appreciate it okay so why am i coming back to the witcher 3 because i want to do new game plus <laughs> so we're gonna do that and in fact guys i was gonna play this last year uh december 2023 what happened was monsanto wilds was announced and i'm a big monsanto fan i'm not gonna lie to you guys i love it so there was a return to wells you know thing it just became a thing so i basically started a new playthrough of monsanto wells and iceborne so you can find that on the channel as well you know check that out if you want but i really miss witcher 3 man this was the game that <laughs> got me started and you know i love it man anyway so without further ado uh, by the way everything's in timestamps if you want to skip ahead to certain parts you can uh we're gonna do a brand new playthrough it's gonna be a little bit more streamlined guys i just want to make you aware it's not going to be as detailed as my previous witcher 3 playthrough if you want a more detailed playthrough please check that out uh, by the way that's oriana isn't it in that shed it is it's oriana oh my god i didn't even notice that all right guys without further ado let's dive in so new game plus play the game in new game plus mode including any installed expansions to start playing in this mode load a game save you created after completing the base game all right guys this is actually oh by the way death march and we're going to do enemy scaling up and gwent is going to be on hard difficulty uh, you, you're truly insane and loving it. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Let's just get it. Uh, get, oh, yeah, well, how do I do this again? The Witcher 3 simulate Witcher 2 save. What, you, what do I choose? Oh, I don't remember this, guys. I want to make my own choices when I... Is it on? Wait, simulate Witcher 2 save. <laughs> okay, I think, I think it's on. Okay, guys, anyway, wish me luck. Let's see what happens. Right, to start a new game plus, you must first choose a save made after completing the standard version of the game. All right, guys, so that'll be my latest one. So we'll do that.
Wow, what an amazing cutscene. <laughs> it was incredible, man. There she is. There's my baby. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. By the way, I'm Team Yen, guys. <laughs> Nothing against Triss, but I'm Team Yen. Sorry. God, the music, guys. <laughs> I'm getting emotional, man. <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Oh, my God. It's, guys, it's been two years for me. I'm just grinning from ear to ear. Okay, what is this? New Game Plus. I switched off all the tutorials, though. Anyway, welcome to New Game Plus. A potion of clearance has been added to your inventory. You can use it to recover all your spent ability points so you can oh i know what this is my goodness sorry i'm acting like a noob <laughs> but i am guys it's been two years um by the way just before i carry on okay i had to do a few things before uh starting new game plus i'm sure all of you are well, well aware however guys this is only going to be my second new game plus that i've done in my lifetime so i can't remember exactly what we had to stash in our box but as far as i'm aware Everything at Corvo Bianco from uh, Blood and Wine. We had to stash all of that. Uh, potion, okay, potions, alchemy stuff, which is all fully upgraded. I get to keep that. Di crafting diagrams we don't have anymore. And I think decoction and alchemy diagrams, I think we get to keep that. I'm not sure. So, um... I hope I did it correctly is all I'm trying to say. Anyway. Guys, th this is incredible, man. And by the way, I did a terrible job in my last playthrough, guys. I hope I've... Uh, yeah, here we are. All right, characters. Okay, I'm not going to read Dandelion yet. We're going to read Yennefer. I did a terrible job because I wasn't reading these to you guys. So, you, you know, one of or two of you have made me aware of that. All right, let's read Geralt of Rivia. Uh, by the way, skip ahead if you don't want to see all this. <laughs> skip ahead, it's fine. Geralt of Rivia. Many cannot fathom the friendship Geralt of Rivia and I, Dandelion, have shared all these years. When we first began breaking bread together, spiteful tongue said he'd be better off cutting my throat and dumping my body in a hollow tree before I provoked someone else into doing the same to us both. These individuals spoke out of pure jealousy for Geralt was my dearest friend, a fact which he gave ample evidence of on numerous occasions. I could say a great deal about that world-famous monster hunter, 
the man known in elder speech as Gwynblade, or in our younger yet no less noble tongue as the White Wolf. For Geralt of Rivia is a truly exceptional individual. A brief encounter might tempt one to label him a mere swinger of swords, a simple monster catcher, a rough and tumble practitioner of a dirty trade. But peer closer, and you will soon discover he is a man of unplumbed depths, unique views, and vast, well spanning experience. On the surface, he is introverted, tight lipped one might even say gruff, but underneath lies an overflowing sea of goodwill, good humour, and an honest readiness to help his friends, be it with a bit of sound advice or the masterful application of his blade. Setting aside cumbersome false modesty, I can say that I know his story better than any man alive. I was with him through hard times and good, helping with wise advice, warm words and razor wit. As a result, I am a vital part of his story, both in its earlier and present portions. It is thus my duty to continue my chronicle and, for the benefit of future de generations, put in writing the next chapter of his deeds and exploits. Okay, so we've got Yennefer Ven Vengerbad now. It's not as long, so we'll read this one. The Witcher first met the raven-haired sorceress a good 20 years back. Their friendship and the feelings between them were born of a common adventure involving a genie and a wish granted to Geralt that intertwined their fates inextricably. In the time since then, sorry, in the time since then, their relationship had, however, been quite stormy, rich in ups and downs, crises and breakups. Geralt and Yennefer's love provides irrefutable proof of the thesis that opposites attract. A few years ago, Geralt and Yennefer had, after a long separation full of adventures for them both, gotten back together again. Their moment of repose was interrupted by the Wild Hunt, which took Yennefer captive. The Witcher set out at once to save her, but lost his memory while doing so. When he finally recovered it, he immediately set off once more on his quest to find his beloved sorceress. And finally, guys, Dandelion. I would wager anyone that you, dear reader, are a person of culture and taste, and therefore are already familiar with me, Dandelion, and the role I am to play in the following tale. And nevertheless, allow me to sketch a few lines by the way of self-portrait, for the sake of thoroughness. And in the events you have spent much of the last half century in some dark corner where the light of my star has yet to reach. Born in 1229, a talented poet and troubadour, a graduate of Oxenford Academy, a frequent performer at royal courts, an unequalled lover appreciated and in some cases adored by la ladies worldwide, <laughs> a skilled negotiator and a stirring orator. Such is the image of the bard Dandelion as painted by his friends and promoters. This image is, of course, somewhat overbright in its colouring. I personally prefer to think of myself as a dedicated artist in thrall to his muse, one whose work has benefited immeasurably from the fact that I was, am, and forever will remain a close friend and steadfast companion to the Witcher Geralt. It is his fate I, chronic, I chronicle in this present work and his story, which, uh, which I shall sing till the end of my days. I have to peek over the microphone, guys, because it's covering a little bit of the TV. Oh. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Guys, we're back. I can't believe we're actually back. Oh, my God. Oh, um, by the way, can you see or hear Siri? I think we can see her. Give me a sec. Oh, my goodness. One second. She's there. There she is. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom in when I edit, but can you see Siri down there? Oh, this is magnificent. I I'm so happy, guys. I'm so hyped. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're going to look around. Uh, guys, if you want to skip ahead to certain sections, please go ahead. It's fine, but I like to be as thorough as possible. However, in this playthrough, I may do time skips uh, just to save a bit of time because it's not a full playthrough like the other one. Go 
world clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Uh, sorry, let me start again. It is and it isn't. It's like, um, I like being thorough, but in this case, because we've already played this... I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. <laughs> she really wants to get rid of me. Okay. Okay, that's the key, so I need that anyway. Okay, we'll open that in a second. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. <laughs> oh man it's you know sorry guys i'm getting emotional because this was the game this was the playthrough that everyone seemed to love including myself obviously i adore this game but um i played many games on this channel so far but this is the the game <laughs> got any clothes that aren't black or white mm -hmm. undergarments oh there's my beautiful yen Okay, a bit later on, I'll explain what I intend to do for this particular playthrough, but um, it's very far off. There's no need, really. Anyway, let's talk to Yennefer. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Oh my gosh, she is so hot. She is killing me, guys. All right, I want to stay with you a little longer. You're right, I should go see Siri. Let's be unreasonable. Let's do this one. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you, but we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Nice recovery, Geralt. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I hope everybody is doing fantastic, and I hope you enjoy this playthrough. Um, if you're one of the old school Rune Bear subscribers, you know, welcome back, man. And I hope you enjoy this as well. If you're brand new here, I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, guys, I don't know if I'm just seeing this through um, rose-tinted glasses. I swear the frame rate is much better than the last time I played this. Am I imagining things? Because it's really smooth. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Guys, it's so good to see Vesemir again. Oh, man, I'm just grinning from here to here. Anyway, don't get mad at her. We've spoiled her. Let's do this one. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. And there's Siri being a badass. <laughs> oh, whoa. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not in the 
circus pirouette. Wrong footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? <laughs> right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Oh, so good to see Siri again, guys. Better not. I love this one. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. <laughs> so you best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. No, but I want to. <laughs> I actually want to do it. Oh, no. Is it because I switched off tutorials? Guys, I need practice. I haven't played this in like two years, man. <laughs> Crap. Oh, look, it's Eskel and Lambert. Oh, my God. Oh, this is too much. I'm overwhelmed, guys. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action. I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> okay, let's choose... Let's do that one. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. <laughs> What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Hey! Carol, what? Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. <laughs> as soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhead. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? Very disturbing. And does anybody know who that is, guys? Long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. No. Come. 
yes we get to keep our spectacles guys <laughs> i'm so happy i was really i was really worried that i wouldn't be able to take my glasses back <laughs> i'm so happy guys excellent you all right <laughs> had a nightmare about It'd take forever to explain dawn some way off we've got time uh guys another reason to be really happy roach has kept his um lament of comparison i can't remember what it's called but you know that um saddle that we get from gortro dim i think i've got it guys uh, we'll check i'll have a look anyway i dreamt of care Morin. yeah we'll do that started in the guest room at care Morin. i was relaxing in a tub and next to me tris yennefer funny isn't it she's never been there seems so real in my dream though was she nagging you about something Mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way... It means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Fazami. In the dream. I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. <laughs> we're gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Guys, let's just tell him. <laughs> Stuffy unicorn. We used it as a bed once. <laughs> Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations mm. the things young folk get up to these days back on topic <laughs> how's it look how far behind yennefer are we two or three days the trail's fresh but it looks like it leads towards the main road could be muddled there wait hear that I hear it. oh crap cool Oh crap, guys, I've done no combat <laughs> like practice. I don't remember. Wait, wait, what do I do? What do I do? That's dodge. That's roll. Uh, I don't know which one is to attack. Oh wait, I need oils and stuff. Shit. <laughs> Leave me a lonely piece of crap. <laughs> okay. Um, no. How do I do this? 
No, that's not what I want. Guys, I'm stuck, man. Oh, you arsehole. Right, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, I know. I know what to do. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Right, that's Rand. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. It's actually my fault. I was so excited to get into this. Wait, one sec. <laughs> okay, no, that's me. I got it. I got it. Oh, man. I am so sorry about that, guys. Okay, let me just pause it real quick. Don't want to interrupt Vesemir. I didn't do any combat practice or anything. I just um, I just went straight into the main menu. <laughs> did no, New Game Plus. My apologies, but I need to get used to this again. All right, now this should be something here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So that's a crystal skull. Skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Uh, guys, by the way, I don't think... Oh, man, I don't think we kept the same saddle from Hearts of Stone. Uh, give me a moment. Let me just check Roach. Does he have the saddlebags? Okay, I've got that. No, I have got it. I've got it, guys. Okay, what about this? Beauclair saddlebags. Excellent. So we've got a shit ton of um, inventory space, which is great. Anyway, let me just do a little bit of looting. My god, I gotta get used to everything again. And guys, I'm not imagining things. I swear to you, the visuals look better. I've got it on performance mode. It looks way better now. Sorcerer I knew. Couldn't stop talking. Hey, stop it, Roach. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Guys, I'm not imagining things. This looks... It looks better. Uh, please let me know in the comments. Am I imagining things? But I swear, it's been two years. I've not played this. It just looks smoother, a little bit sharper. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Damn, guys. <laughs> this game looks so gorgeous, man. Uh, but it is terrible seeing all of these bodies, obviously, but <laughs> just saying. Okay, there's a chest here. A diamond? Oh, I'll take that. Yes, please. Uh, guys, in between this episode and the next, I'm going to do a little bit of combat practice. I don't know, attack some soldiers or whatever. I just can't remember how to cast signs, etc. My goodness, look at this. All burnt to a cinder. All right, let's speed this up. Oh, can hear some drowners. <laughs> okay, cutscene. We going? Help me! Help! It's gone. Yeah. Come out. The greatest haircut in the medieval area goes to 
<laughs> Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> you'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. No, I'm good. You don't owe us a thing. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Yeah, a woman. Why do you care? <laughs> Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. All right, excellent. Is there any loot here? Oh, poor lady. I didn't even notice this. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> okay. All right, let's follow Vesemi. Full speed ahead. All right, so... Griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Guys, this looks super. <laughs> I mean, I did get an update when I loaded this game up again. It was a long update, so I don't know if they just improved everything. Except it was some drowner that had sat on. Oh man, this is incredible, guys. <laughs> Even the cutscene quality seems to be sharper. I don't know. Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Screw you, dickhead. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Oh no, I hurt my feelings. <laughs> Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? I've got four roasted chicken legs, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, so let's torture for a bit. Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? 
Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Um, guys, I want to see if she sells any Gwent cards. Show me what you got behind the counter. Now, as far as I'm aware, I think I've got to start Gwent all the way from scratch. I think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it looks like... Oh, damn it. I've got to start again. It's, it's fine. I don't mind. Okay. Decoy. I kept my money, though. That's good. Catapult. What is this again? Oh, the tight bond ones. Okay, I remember these. These are excellent cards. Blue stripes. Wait, it's saying I already... No, no, ignore me, guys. Ignore me. Um, Crim for Reva. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is this? Um, clear weather. Okay, excellent. There we go, guys. Uh, what else? What else can I do here? I've got a ton of food I can sell as well, but... Okay, we'll explore all this later on. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. <laughs> all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. All right, I think that's it. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up, please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Alright, I'm very rusty, guys. Um, Better that than burning the harvest. I've got Tawny Owl, I think. <laughs> guys, it's, it's been a while, so... Alright, let's talk to these cocksuckers. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. Your breath sours my beer. Oh, I want to beat the crap out of him, but it's okay. We'll do talk now. <laughs> Raven a woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Shut up. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> Sit down. All right. Okay, guys, what I'd like to do, um, let's talk to, yeah, we'll talk to a couple more people. And then I want to see, a, oh, no, it's the Gwent guy. He is here. The Gwent guy is here. I want to finish up on one game of Gwent. However, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has. Let me see what's in here. So, guys, just to let you know, the steel sword I'm using... Actually, I need to come out of this. One second. All right, let me just show you real quick. Okay, so I've got the Hen Gaith... I don't know how to pronounce this. Hen Gaith steel sword or whatever. But basically, this is the um, sword you would get from the Unseen Elder's Cave. So I went in there just to steal this, and then I nipped back out. Uh, 150 armor piercing, 75% crit hit damage bonus, 15% crit hit chance, 15% uh, bleeding and stun. This is a cracking sword. That's why I'm using it. I was going to use my uh, Toussaint steel sword, which technically is better, but it's under leveled. It's gone down to, well, it's level 48. So I have to admit, I'm not going to lie to you, I think the Toussaint one is slightly is a better sword, but I want to give the Hen Gaith one a try. I've also kept my Ursain gear in here as well. It's all grandmas, it's all been um, um you know <coughs> enchanted. 
So I may slip into that from time to time. But I've got the Manticore uh, set. And that's the same set I finished up on at the end of Blood and Wine as well. All right, just want to check something. Give me a moment. Okay, I just want to know exactly what's... Right, everything's in here. So I stashed everything, which is good. Right, look, check it out. Roach still has all his bits and pieces, which is great. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, what's this? Why would I put meat in here? Strange meat. <laughs> okay, all right, so... Uh, yeah, everything seems fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Whatever. Okay, we're going to talk to the Gwent dude last. And look who it is. Mr. Gauntrodim. Long time, buddy. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Yeah, fine, whatever. Fine, I'll have a drink. <laughs> He's paying, why not? Cut to the chase. You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. <laughs> Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. This guy's one scary mofo. <laughs> How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Um, let's say none of your business. <laughs> let's be a bit aggressive. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. All right, so what I'd like to do now, let's go outside. Damn, it's morning. Well, it's only going to be a fist fight. We should be okay. Anyway, let's get out here. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> it's not very nice. Don't want your kind here. Guys, I can't, I can't remember how to fist fight. My God. All right, let's ask you one of them. To you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you done nothing. <laughs> you done nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, so. Right, what is... Oh, thank you, Roach. <laughs> guys, wait. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how to punch. Damn it. It's square, isn't it? Okay. Guys, I actually do have to be careful, to be fair. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can I take a potion? I can. Good. <laughs> okay, in case you're not sure why that's happening, we got a special... Oh, whoa. we got a special... Um. 
we got a special saddle from <laughs> sorry that was just funny guys thank you roach you are a legend okay um we got a special saddle from um hearts of stone and i'm assuming you guys have played witcher 3 before that's why you're on new game plus so i will give you spoilers from time to time now why am i out here okay i need to speak to this dude thank you for saying mr haircut people say all kinds of things about witches but i've always known yours to be an honorable guild so you managed to salvage some goods yes but i await the repair of my wagon as time passes my losses grow do you need something i'll let it go half free all right the reason i've come here let me have a look at your stock i need to buy some gwent cards damn he doesn't have any do i need to meditate perhaps and what's this oh we don't need this we've got something far far better okay that's fine it's no big deal take care okay so we'll get out of here we'll go back in the place and in fact guys let me check out my gwent deck i don't remember how to play gwent <laughs> oh my god it, this is terrible okay right okay this is my current cards in my deck that's cards i've got full stop so anyway i want to put one up for you in there let's put blue stripes definitely a catapult uh guys let me get rid of my poor fucking infantry i don't really care about them i don't quite need three of these dudes you know what funnily enough i don't think i need him we'll see i don't know guys i could be talking total shit <laughs> and get my ass kicked but we'll see what happens we'll see well i need to put two cards in here so let's do some point value uh d do i need a decoy at this stage i'll put it in anyway all right i don't care about this let's get your pin oh crap okay i do have to put at least that and maybe him i don't know <laughs> all right guys this this is all i have but um i hope it's uh, gonna be enough and one more sorry one more thing Right, what's my leader ability? How do I change that? Change leaders. No, I don't want this. I want this one. Clear any weather effects. Right, I want that. Because this son of a bitch does love to use weather against you. So anyway, let's talk to him. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman, long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Uh, yeah, we'll start from here. Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Good. He's an evidence evidence based person like me. <laughs> Why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite chasing it i'm headed for the front tired of life i seek knowledge which i value more than life itself i have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench i wish to see the nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes understand it and record it all in my chronicle my magnum opus take my advice go back to your books while you can war's no game no faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you seal kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? <laughs> He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. 
Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. <laughs> All right. I've been waiting for this for two years, but guys, I don't remember. My mind has gone blank. I, I think I know how to play. I'm sure it'll come back to me, but we'll see. Hmm. Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. Right. Do you want to begin the Gwent tutorial? No. <laughs> I'm going to get destroyed, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. Um start game let me just have a look so we got one bite no two biting frosts do i even need that many i want to put one back in fact i don't need impenetrable fog i don't need clear weather do i no i don't need that uh yeah i think this is this is it guys this is all i have only one spy are you kidding me <laughs> Hey, look, I'm happy because we get to do this all over again, so I'm good. Anyway. Oh, crap, he's an guardian. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, right, I've got that dude. Do I have a catapult to capitalize? I do. Okay, good. I've got two blue stripes. I've only got one Crimford Reaver in my um, entire hand. I think we're good guys let me put no i think we're good let's just go in how do i go into the game <laughs> i don't know sorry guys how do i go into the game no i don't want to get rid of that oh crap my god okay oh wow i've got a full stack of these dudes <laughs> right that's a two Okay, here we go. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm so nervous, man. It's been such a while. I'm excited as well, and nervous as hell. All right, let me try and draw a weather card or a spy even. Ah, damn it. Come on, weather card, a spy, come on. Piece of crap. <laughs> okay, let me put one of you down. A four. Okay, um, how do I how do I pass? It's that, isn't it? Okay, he's obviously gonna try and beat me, and that's fine. Two okay, so he's got four cards left. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to quick? I can even pass now. I don't think he's going to lay another card down, is he? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, whatever. Whatever, guys. Let me put this down. He's probably going to pass. He's not. Interesting. And he's only got one card left. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Wait. One sec, guys. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Wait, give me a sec. Let me put this down. I can always clear weather afterwards. We'll just see what he's going to do. He passed. Piece of crap. Okay. All right, fine. Whatever. Okay, so I should be getting a card back because we're Northern Realms. <laughs> okay, cool. Guys, he's only got one card left, so. Right, there we go. The one of you. 
Biting Frost. That was his last card, guys. That was his last card. Okay. All right, let me pull these cards down anyway. And as a finisher... <laughs> boom, there we go. <laughs> Take that, bitch. All right, cool. We did it. Well, well, you've a knack for this game. I know, I know. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt <laughs> and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, this has been awesome. It really has. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me do a little bit of reading. So this is all of the Gwent cards we've got to collect throughout the entire game. That's Yen's letter. Um, okay, I'll leave that there. You can read that if you want to. Okay, and then I'll move on to... Uh, sorry, what I mean is press pause so you can read it. <laughs> okay, let's go into characters. We've got... Okay, guys, actually, I'm going to read Vesemir. I think these ones and a Siri, but let's read Vesemir's one. And the rest, I guess, you can just read on the screen. I'll leave it there for a few seconds and you can pause it. Right, Vesemir. Vesemir was the oldest living member of the wolf school and most likely the oldest witch of any school on the continent. About as long in years as the ruins of Kaer Morin themselves, and though eternally complaining about his creaky bones, this master of the witcher trade gave no thought to a well-deserved retirement. Grey, but still spry, he continued to ply the monsanting trade into his golden years. Effectively, too, as he'd seen more beasts than all his students put together. A harsh and demanding instructing Geralt's youth, over the years he has become something of an adoptive father and mentor to the other witches, always ready to help with sage advice and steady hands. In the spring of 1272, when our story begins, Vesemir had joined Geralt on his search for Yennefer, tre uh, trekking with him through war-ravaged Temeria. Uh, okay, so we've done all of these. So let's read Siri. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon. <laughs> That's a long name. What can I possibly say about her? That we call her Siri for short. That she was born in 1251. That she has ashen hair and a scar on her cheek. All true, and that's the Cyrilla I know best. The one I first laid eyes upon those many years ago. The one who seems thoroughly, well, not ordinary, but certainly not as extraordinary as she in fact is. For Cyrilla is also a highly skilled witcher, heiress to several thrones, the last bearer of the Elder Blood, a powerful source endowed with exceptional magic talent, and the Lady of Time and Space. Her hair colour and date of birth seem rather incidental now, don't they? I could also tell you she is Geralt's adopted daughter, but that would be a gross simplification. Siri is much more. She is his destiny, his unexpected child, someone bound to the Witcher by fate's most inextricably tangled fetters. Following age-old Witcher tradition, Geralt took Siri to Kaer Morhen when she came into his care. There, he and Vesemir taught her in the ways of the professional monster sorry guys i have to peek over my microphone i can't read this properly <laughs> it was then that her magic talents were first revealed and they discovered she was a source siri's gift proved a curse as well because of it she would one day have to hide from the entire world even Geralt. okay so i'll leave uh, eskel so I'll leave that there for a few seconds. You can read that, guys. And Lambert. Okay, cool. Guys, this has been a freaking pleasure. I'm so happy we're playing this again. I do need to practice combat, though, and obviously have more Gwent games. But we're going to do that in part two onwards. Uh, guys, again, listen. Thank you 
to everybody who helped me get here to you know 500 subs i really appreciate it man you have no idea how much that means to me i didn't really think i'd get past uh bloody 100 subs but we did somehow we did <laughs> and i gotta say it was thanks to the witcher playthrough i mean don't get me wrong i've played some amazing games on this channel but um there's nothing quite like the witcher Okay, <laughs> Geralt just looking like a badass. Guys, I'm not imagining things. Things look much, much better in the game. I don't know if they have added some updates or whatever, but I can tell you 100% it looks way, way better. Anyway. So anyway, we're going to continue in part 2, 3, 4, etc. Um, but like I said, guys, it's not going to be as detailed as... You know my previous original playthrough that i want to be as detailed as i can but i may do time skips you, you know i don't want it to be like two or three hours per video and stuff like that because i've already done all that unless you tell me guys tell if you guys want me to be as detailed as the last playthrough let me know please maybe i'll put a poll out or something but anyway guys again thanks very much for helping me to get to 500 subs if you're new here i hope you enjoy the rest of the playthrough if you've been here before welcome back i've missed you guys and that hen just flew did you see that <laughs> i didn't even know they could do that uh not real life hens i mean in the game that's what i meant i'll oh, stop crying love we're playing witcher 3 now but anyway thank you very much for joining me today thank you very much for watching i'll catch you guys in part two of the witcher 3 new game plus take care